Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, today, we're back on the house. Um, gotta have things to be done a little different today than normal. Um, my hand, it, I got the stitches out. It feels better, but I still can't use it. Um, my helper went to go pick up some help. They went and hired the Amish. So we're gonna get a treat to watch the Amish tackle this house. Um, they're gonna be working on it for the next, hopefully two days or three days. They seem to think that they can get her knocked out. So we'll go from there and we'll check it out. Let me give you a quick walk around so you can see what's going on here. All right. You can see where I started to raise it just before I hurt myself. And uh, I'll try to go over here and get a side view. But there today, I think they're going to rip us first section of tarp off and finish up what I had started. And uh, hopefully, depending on how fast they can knock that out, they'll start pulling that second tarp and dropping more rafters and build that a new sub wall on the other two ends. And hopefully get that standed up today and maybe pop those rafters up into place. I think that'll be pretty neat. We went ahead and sorted the lumber for them. So they got the decking material sitting over here. Right there on the porch. And the 2 by 6s or 2 by 4s that they can use. And I already had these cut. These are the overhangs on the other end. And uh, hopefully... As everybody says, the Amish works fast and works good, so we'll see. And depending on uh, how slow or how fast they work, I might go get the dump truck. Since I am still technically one-handed, I can give you kind of a close-up. I don't know how well you can see that, but she's tore open pretty fair still. Still a little tender, but at least it's usable. I'm going to get back here and get my dump truck and get this mess cleaned up we'll see i don't know it's over on another job site i kind of left it there lady was supposed to fill it up but she didn't do it she's in texas so uh i think i'll wait on it i don't know hate to take it away from her when i told her she can fill it i need to get over there and fill it help her fill it but she's not there so I will turn the camera on when they get here. All right, like I said, here they are. Going right at it. Got the top peeled off. And already started ripping the decking off. How's it going? Where they go? Pretty nice. Quick work, quick, quick work. Ah. Oh, there, you guys get out of it. there you go, in less than 20 minutes, they got all the rest of the decking off. We've got most of the nails pulled out. They're ripping that overhang off here before too long. Just gotta watch that over that power line. And they got it all the way down, all the way to where we started, ripped off. So. Let's see if I can get up here where they can be seen without falling. There you go. So, they're taking gutter off on the other side and fascia and soffit. They already got all this ripped off. So, we'll keep going. Hopefully you can get a good enough view you can see what's going on. Laying down the rafters right now. One down by one. Slowly disappear.
See if I can get some better angles. Get around the garage. Sorry about the shakiness. Can't see any better over here than you could over there. There we go. It's only nine o'clock, they started at eight. Try to get you guys so you can see a little better. It's not the easiest thing to do. The sun's not working with me. too close now well this is something all right one wolf stood tractors are laid down now they're getting ready to move the over so they can So they can build the other wall. Oh, what a nightmare. <laughs> These guys are fast. That's sitting nice. Don't fall. All right, we'll come back when they got some more done. Here's a treat for you. How would you want to do that? Standing on top of the new wall they built for the second story. And them guys are over there bracing up that wall. And give them a few minutes, they will start throwing up these rafters. And they're talking about already having deck on. These guys are good. Whew. Makes me nervous watching that guy. I thought you made me nervous. <laughs> Add some guts. Alright. I'll keep it posted. Alright, y'all. This is what we got accomplished. All the rafters are in place. Except for that very end. She's working on right now. And, uh, boy. It was a fun one getting them up there. We'll have to get it, but, yep, we're moving right along. We'll have a decking hunt before the end of the day, hopefully. All right. Thank you for watching. We'll continue. Okay, guys, here is a ground view of what it looks like so far. It is coming along. These guys are knocking it out. It's only after going on 3 o'clock. They got here at 8, and this is what they got accomplished. These are really good guys, and I'd be looking forward to working with them again in the future. But man, this has come along real nice. I've been trying to help them as much as I can. It's hard to do with one hand. And we had a accident, which would have been nice to have the camera rolling. I was up there at the very peak, standing rafters, and 
one of them broke in half and I was up on it and I fell from the very peak to the floor on the second floor oh, that was fun sore they already repaired the rafter and stood it up but every one of the rafters all the way to the end except for the overhang is in place but man these it is short coming along they say they're gonna have the decking on it tonight so we'll see we'll keep going okay you guys we're here at the end of the day and you can see that they pulled the tarp back over they got that overhang straightened out with the tie boards finally in as that's what we needed they did all of them got this one here they even started putting decking on all the way down the reason why they didn't start the bottom is because we're going to cut the overhangs off and shorten them up and uh look how huge this room is like this is literally one big room i think this is uh if i remember correctly i think from there to there is over 30 feet and then i know from that wall to that wall is 30 31 feet so if this is a 30 by 30 or 30 by 35 this is a huge bedroom and yes all this old crappy floor is going to come out and all this is going to get corrected and we've knocked two holes in the ceiling in the bathroom we'll have to repair that but they throwed the tarp on it tonight hopefully we don't have a heavy rain or good wind to blow it off i hope not that would suck at least at least this tarp's good enough hopefully to keep most of the water out but as you can see where that board is that one right there that extended out over there and this rafter and this rafter was sitting there he had to rebuild this one i was up on that ladder right there when we were sticking these rafters up into place and uh when they put the board in the rafter laid down with the one i was sitting on that board snapped from the tip of that to this floor here is 13 feet i was up there and i made that fall straight to the ground we destroyed that rafter and the guy was helping us it come down on his head and there was another one on this wall who just about went off the edge when that all went down but thank god that nobody seriously got hurt the guy got a bump on his head but he said he was fine and i just got a scrape on my arm and under my armpit and my back's a little sore but this is a huge difference compared to what it was look at this room i mean good gosh this is gonna be awesome when it's said and done they're coming back tomorrow they had to go take care of some calf i don't know if i already said that but uh they're gonna finish this wall and that wall and get the decking on and start shingling hopefully tomorrow i don't know if they're coming back saturday or not but we'll definitely be awesome if they did and they can come over and help get this sheeted up and we can get it all wrapped with house wrap and once that's all said and done we can start getting this floor all took up and reframed and start in on this electrical wiring it's all scattered like like a rat nest and over here where this spot is you can see that vent pipe that's where the old toilet used to sit that's all getting moved over this way so all that whole area is going to be a bed a bathroom now all this area is going to be an overlook over the living room and that area and the staircase is going to come up this side up to that wall and then you're going to unload from there so basically you're going to come around up and over we was going to come in from the door and go up but we changed our plan because of the fact that uh it would be easier to have it that way and it give us a coat closet when we get it completely done but man i am really impressed with those guys so if anybody ever has a hard work and crew man need anybody get a hold of the amish they are awesome people but uh yeah 
I'll uh, catch you guys up tomorrow and we'll go from there. So I want to thank you all for watching and tune in for the next one. Y'all have a great day and God bless you.